how are you? So this is the first of the vlog style videos of the packing process and getting the house ready. I'm not gonna show you my whole house because I just don't think anybody really cares. But I'm showing you the process of packing up my craft room and a few other things. I will at some point make a video showing you the new house and unpacking and getting everything situated. But this one is the prep process, so stay tuned. So I already packed this box. Butch has his treat. <laughs> Nori's playing with him. I've already packed that box of books, getting ready to do this one. And today's goal is that shelf and that pile maybe, possibly some randomness from in between the stuff under my desk where Nori's head is, scooch back. There's some random stuff there. So we'll see how this all goes because I'm trying not to overpack the boxes. It's another day and more packing needs to happen. I'm leaning towards packing up that shelf, or there's actually one right next to me off camera over here behind my door. Just haven't decided which one yet, so stay tuned. So these two boxes are just my piles of rat fleece and books from my tiny little bookshelf. And I couldn't even fit all of the books and bins of stuff in those because most of my bins were just slightly too long to go this way. So I had to use two big boxes instead and then package the fleece around it to hopefully prevent my storage bins from cracking. So today we are packing up some more in the office. I'll give you an update on what that looks like in a minute because I did a lot of packing yesterday. It's actually been a couple weeks since I filmed in my rat room. So my big dilemma today is that I have to figure out how and what I want to pack for the rats, which means I actually have to plan what I want to keep out for them and how I'm gonna decorate their bin cage during our move. And here's my thoughts. I'm thinking if I'm not gonna to wanna to do laundry for a little bit. So I'm thinking skip hammocks for a bit. That way I can get caught up on washing them and then I can use like the plastic totes and things in their cage. I have those stacking ones that can like mount to the sides of the cage. I've hung them up like a hammock before even, and I can just put bedding inside of those so that they have something comfy to sleep on, but it will also absorb pee and stuff. So hopefully it'll keep the smell down and I can just unclip it and change it. Um, there's a possibility they're gonna be in the bin cage for like a week just due to unpacking and moving craziness, but we'll see. Anyhow, I'll show you what I've done so far. Lovely lady from church gave us a ton of boxes. So I have all these random shaped boxes, which is fine because I have random shaped stuff in here, but I have packed up most of what's on this I still have to get all of this. So you can see that's pretty bare. I gotta take those down. I gotta take my hot air balloon down and my clock. I still have, I've got two boxes under here that I need to just tape. And then my shelves are actually pretty much empty. And I still have to pack up all my Cricut stuff. I've emptied most of that. I've emptied that for the most part. Those, I have to put the fabric in something and then I'm going to put my sewing machines inside and put fabric around it because the sewing machines are going with me. And then those have to go in something. Just that, I've gotta pack that up. But here's the pile of boxes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think I'm at 11 so far, which is pretty good. I, I need to get a couple more of these and we're actually gonna have to buy boxes soon. So I have to figure out what under here I need. Try not to kill myself in here. And I still have all of this to pack actually. So um, I actually filmed a video over the summer of me going through all my rat stuff and putting it away properly and organizing it. But since I lost some footage somewhere and when I refound it, now we're three weeks from moving. So it kind of seems silly to keep it. I think I'm just gonna refilm a new one probably. So all that needs packed. I gotta go through that. 
husband asked a question. Um, so this is fabric and yarn. So I've got to pack all of that. I'm honestly not sure if I'm going to keep these or not. I haven't decided. I have like three of them. And there's two in here and one downstairs. And they're super handy, but I just don't know. That's a doll. Don't freak out. That stunt baby is not alive that we know of. And then I got these. So I'm thinking these will be what I use in the bin cage is these baskets that stack, these guys, or these because these things are a pain to pack. And since I can strap them to the cage through these little holes, I'm thinking that can be used as hammocks. So I've got a couple of different things there. And then I've got some of them, I even have more up there in different colors. So I'm thinking that, I don't know. And then I still have the attic space, which I'm not gonna go in there. If you wanna see what's in there, you can look on my TikTok. I have a video of me showing how I store my stuff in this space. That's where we're at currently. So I'm gonna do some more packing and then I'll show you my progress. Maybe I will film some of that, but probably not. Cause I don't, I don't know. Do anybody care what I stick in a box? Probably not. Cause I don't even care at this point. I'm like two rooms in and I'm at a total of over 30 boxes already between two rooms. And I'm just like, what will fit in here? Okay, that's what's going in here. And I haven't even been labeling what's in the boxes very much, unless it's something I know I need, like my thread or rat food. So there's that. Waze is trying to tell me I need to leave, but that's not happening because I don't have feel like driving that far today in the rain and the gloom. So here we go, offward. going to use in the bin cage when we move. This is going to go, that's going to go, that's bedding, rat food. That pile, besides my chair, my chair is staying. That pile is to donate. That's to donate. Those are my shoes from the attic. This is stuff that won't exactly fit. I'm going to probably recycle those two boxes. They weren't expensive and I will have lots of boxes to do stuff with. Rat cage, that's a clean hammock that's gonna go there probably tomorrow. Should move that so they don't chew on it. Those need put in a box. That needs put in a bin. That needs put in a bin. All of this needs put in a bin. That's packed, that's waiting. That has to go in something. This is leaving. Movers will take that, movers will take those. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. Probably dump it out and fold it up. So what's left basically is stuff that I'm going to move in my car. So yeah, it's a lot. Lots of boxes. I think when I last counted it was at 21. I think I've added four more, so it's 25 boxes so far. And I'm counting those. I don't think I counted the storage bins, so 26, 27. It's a lot. It is a lot. My table's all folded up right there. At some point that will get disassembled. I have kept out, well, let me turn the camera around. So I've, <laughs> I've kept out just what I need basically for putting the bin cage together. And I will probably pack another box with the stuff that's in the bin cage. That's the extra levels for the Critter Nation and some stuff like that. So my office is looking empty and it's weird, but here we are. This is my bathroom area. It connects to the actual toilet room. So this is a box of books I still have to pack, some cleaning supplies and puzzles. Everything here is emptied out. That doll goes with the kids stuff. This is all empty. Very strange. removed 
everything from the attic space. There's nothing in there anymore. There's nothing in there anymore. Rattles are very upset because I can't free roam them right now. But it's just not safe because, let's see if I can show you. This is the pile. I'm sorry, that's kind of a funky angle, but it's literally t almost as tall as me and kind of precarious in the back there. Um, I have been doing nebulizer treatments because I switched beddings and Marshy had a flare up like he does when I do anything. So I have been doing nebulizer treatments, but that doesn't normally go there. But this is the pile at the moment. This is everything in my office right here, basically. And so we're fully packed. So you can see I have the bin cage out. I'm planning to set that up on Thursday, have that ready for them. And then I've got some things out on purpose that are gonna go in it. Like I'm actually gonna use that to create another level in the cage, I think. I think that'll be really fun. I'm gonna hang it like at the top of the mesh on the side. So that'll be really cool. And then I've got this little stack of things, which has a box hide and a perch and some baskets. This little hide, they are very upset because I haven't free roamed them in a little bit, but they are getting attention. They just want more and I'm doing the best I can. I'll keep you updated. Thanks for watching. Bye.